Hi, Julia. Hello, Justin. Hey, how are you doing? Uh, doing pretty well. Yeah, how are you? I'm good. Um, even before going into, even before um, reading your bio, I was going to ask you about Hanif Abdurraqib. And then, yeah. And then I was so fortunate to read the bio. <laughs> I, when he agreed to do that, I was like, I was like, I was like emotional. I was like, I love it. I actually met, it's so weird. I like met slash heard, became familiar with his writing, with his poetry at like a Christian writing conference in Grand Rapids. When? Um, oh my gosh, was it 2017? Had to be 2017 because 2018, yeah, I think it, it was like a couple of years ago. Um, and then like- Why were you both there? Speaking on Christian know, like, writing? Okay, so here, <laughs> the, um, the person who ran it um, was, so sweet and had like so we had played there we um i this is before i toured with a band but uh played with uh violin uh we had played there uh at this christian college um in grand rapids like just like on tour because whoever ran the events was like I don't want to say really cool as if that's an anomaly for people who like for people of faith, but like, sure. I played there. They had asked Torres to play there. You know, Hanif was there. Hanif was there. Yeah. It seemed like the people programming wanted to have a dialogue that wasn't so like that. I don't know, man, it's funny because now I don't really like using words like secular um mm -hmm. <laughs> there's just this weird otherness when you call something secular you're like oh secular <laughs> uh, but uh yeah just wanted to incorporate like non-faith based sure. art as an exploration of like more abstract ways of how how we see god um mm -hmm. or like what that even is which I, I like, of course, I was like 20 years old and I, I was like, this is my lane. Um, I gave at, at that, I'm, I'm a little embarrassed, but also God bless young Julian. I gave like a fucking PowerPoint presentation at that conference, wow. at that conference about how, <laughs> about how hardcore music, um, was an analog to the tenets of the gospel. How so? Oh my gosh. I don't know. I hit me with the thesis. Man, I don't want to I it's funny because I back then I was trying to have a thesis and I thought I I had a lot of philosophies to deploy. And now I don't. Uh now I don't I'm not so it's not like I'm not so sure of them but I just have you know even back then where it was like this weird disclaimer I would put at the beginning of everything like well I don't know anything but what I found and like how I understand faith and it's just kind of like I I now feel responsible for kind of representing an ideology or trying to pitch people an ideology that was not realistic <laughs> or that what was, was your ideology i don't know i thought that <sighs> there's a lot of stuff um i thought you know i thought living out my faith and God, this is probably, I don't want to do this to another artist uh, and be like, well, I really liked what they said. So I did just like them. Uh, but I, my favorite band was Me Without You. And mm -hmm. it still is Me Without You rocks. Um, but <laughs> I like took everything about their ethos and how Aaron like 
characterized God and like the things that they did and tried to apply it to my own life in this way that when I look back on it now was really like <laughs> it was like not that extreme but I I wanted to be you know I wanted mm -hmm. to have like one shirt and Yo, yeah not have and like take all the writer food and walk around outside and give it to homeless people yeah. that's not like okay I get that I get that that's not inherently bad that is not inherently sure. bad but like I think that I like hung all of those actions on this belief that like there was a true like if I could only just find out what being right is mm. what God wants what uh how to best love other people what the right thing to do is mm. then I could and I was like, but, you know, and it's because I held all these crazy standards for myself of being, like, ultimately kind. Then when I was, like, human and I did something shitty, I would have a panic attack about it, you know? Yeah. Like, yes. And I was just like, but it's basically so I'm standing up here in a friggin' tweed blazer at this Christian conference trying to be like, here's how I learned love, right? Like, I learned love because people at a church that was a little bit more progressive than the churches I had been to in high school um, invited me over for dinner, no strings attached. And I was happy that someone was taking interest in me and being kind to me and loving me with no caveat. Mm -hmm. And the other place I found that was punk shows. The other place I found that was, you know, and it was all wrapped up too in like, me being attached to like straight edge ideology which ha like can be useful as like an offshoot of like an understanding of sobriety but also has a lot to do with purity culture and like yeah you know it's it's just difficult and so now I'm like I just have less to say you wouldn't know it because I just talked like I just, a, <laughs> I just had like a 10 minute run on sentence obviously but like I have I have less. Do you think that's because you have a larger audience? Do you think it's harder to say no. something if you have a larger audience? Oh God. You know what? I was going to say no, but actually that might be a part of it. Like I'd never thought of it like that before, but mm. man, I used to like, if I were going to tweet something, something that I f like that I shouldn't feel so anxious about like tw tweeting. Like, first yeah. of all, it's it's like an imaginary digital realm. Like, it it's powerful. It's a powerful tool to educate, to organize, to, um, you know, especially like, whatever. I'm not even going to get off on that because that, that'll be like the whole interview. But I would, I would have to, I would be visibly sweating and have yeah. to turn my phone off if mm -hmm. I was just like, hey, please like donate to this organization that's trying to not put children in cages at the border. But it's like, yeah. why? I, with my, with the whole fabric of my being, believe that's the right thing to do. And I have this like, well, what if, like, what if you're wrong? What if you hurt someone's feelings? And I'm just like, dude, I, it's just like the more people, I didn't even, when I was a kid, I just wanted to play music. And I pretty much thought that I was going to be a teacher. And then I was going to use summer break to tour with my band and just kind of be a 30 year old like rock chick cool. who was mm -hmm. just touring bars cool and like teacher. I don't I don't know I didn't want like but the same thing is like I had somebody say to me really early on I was like I said to them it was my friend Ryan Rado who made the painting for the turn out the lights album cover I was like man the most I feel like the only thing I want to do with a microphone when I get it is turn it away because I always learned about shows being about gang vocals and like <laughs> and like and that's kind of that's like that's literal but also it has implications on how you understand your platform as a musician it's like yeah i'm just like you know all the people watching my band are just the other bands that just played so we're all kind of on the same <laughs> plane uh -huh. <laughs> um and it's like 
now and he said to me he was like but you can't change the fact that you have the microphone Mm -hmm. so you're gonna have to say something into it anyway yeah and then i was like well what do i say (laughs) what do i say if i wanna if i truly want the world to be a better place what can i say to make whoever follows the julian baker music account on twitter <laughs> think about being a better person and i'm not like it sounds like i'm be- i'm being so mean to myself because like that's tr- true like i want to put ideas and links to articles and history podcasts about like i want to put that in front of the people that trust me enough to smash that follow button you know yeah. like I, I want to try, but I, I can't, like, I think I, I really just wanted to be good, and, and, but it's so, I don't want to be like, it's hard to be good, because that's like a cop out of like, well, I should just be average, (laughs) but like, yeah, man, it's difficult to all there's, of a sudden. Have, yeah, there's a low th- um, threshold for forgiveness on Twitter, you know, and I. Oh God, yeah, I yeah. Memes like that, you know, it's it's hard. I mean, yeah. I I read a tweet that Hanif liked today. You know, it was like in my feed of like Hanif liked this, and it was like something about Ocean Vuong, who I love. Um, but I guess like Ocean like said something today or something like that, and then it was like a. Uh, there was like a, a poet that was like, this should also be a place for learning. This, like, if someone said something, this should also be a place for forgiveness. And sometimes we're, sometimes we're still figuring it out and that's okay. And that's a really yeah. tough thing to do. No, um, ha- uh, I was just reading, like, I think it was Haley Williams was like tweeting this whole long thing about saying women with an X and then like, mm-hmm. like all, like, I didn't even understand it. Like what was the, I was just like, okay, I guess th- there was like somebody that had a problem with this. And then she was just like, thanks. Thanks for letting me know that was problematic. I won't do that anymore. And I wish, I wish that I, ha- like, I, maybe I will get to a point where I'm like, I, it's like, I know I'm problematic. I'm, everybody's problematic. <laughs> but I'm, but not least of all me, you know? I, <laughs> um, but I'm so afraid it's like I will sit there and concoct what I want to say in an interview or like like when I have to do email interviews my Mm. manager will send me like four like hey (laughs) you really need to get this done because I will sit here for seven hours in this spot in my apartment and be like that's not the best way to say that I could say it better you know I'm just like and then inevitably I'll read it the next week and I'll be like, still sounds dumb. Like, I just... <laughs> you can't win, Julian. You can't win. Yeah, but it's, it's freeing. It's freeing to know that you can't win. <laughs> like, For sure. Yeah. Um, I, I'm going to have to wrap this up. We're... I'm so sorry. Um, um, we, I think we have like two more minutes. I know it's <laughs> been a quick 15. <laughs> yeah. Um, you, you said that Me Without You is, um, is your favorite band. And... I would. I want to come out of this with a song to play. Could you tell me a "Me Without You" song that we can play, wow. and why you like it? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm like a stan of them, so I'm like mulling through their entire discography in my head right now. Sure. Um. Oh my God. You know what? It's a weird one, and I feel like "Me Without You" fans don't hate me for not saying like nineteen. 19- 1979 or whatever but um play king beetle and the coconut estate that one's really cool it's about beetles who think that god is like a light and then they all fight it it's like a really cool microcosmic little fable that is a really merciful way to look at humans trying to figure out what heaven or god or rightness is but it's just little bugs talking <laughs> 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 to each other it's really cute king beetle and the coconut estate perfect yeah, yeah. um and thank you i mean that's yeah. 
that was the fastest 15 minutes I have uh, oh ever gosh. spent. We didn't yeah. even, we just talked about a Christian music conference. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't like really get to Hanif or- I'm, uh, or, I'm so sorry. Oh no, oh my God. The best is when you uh, make a plan and then you throw the you know roadmap out the window. That's yeah. my, this is my dream conversation. Okay, <laughs> well, good. Thank you. It's been, I've enjoyed this conversation quite thoroughly. Me too, thank you. Um, and thank you for the thank you for the the music um, consistently throughout your career, and oh, yeah, I try. And, and thanks for the for the.